in second place in that semi-final ahead of the new French double the Olympic champion Pierre Ouen teaming up with uh, Tom Baruch from the French quadruple skull at the World Championships last year but the second semi-final has got these flying Italians and the flying poles right in the centre lanes and it's going to be fantastic to see these two go head to head because the Italian speed was amazing in the time trial yesterday it's like they were on a different planet to everybody else well they're such experienced athletes aren't they uh, Pietro Ruta uh, he went right back to London as well as the Rio Olympics um, and these two got silver together last year um, and in Sarasota Bradington and there we see the Polish um, who were fourth in Sarasota but they were first three weeks out three weeks ago in Belgrade but now coming through 750 the Italians look like they've got a nearly a boat length lead See the, the poles three weeks ago in Belgrade the poles led everybody through every single mark they led the Belgians they led the Irish so you know this Italian crew are absolutely flying at this time of the season and uh, it's a sensational pace. 1.32 through the first 500. Pretty similar to the speeds of the other heat the Norwegians went through in 1.32. Well, it's very clean, it's very efficient and experienced uh, work, isn't it? They know, they know how to get the best out of the double scum. But a very good race here with New Zealanders down here as well. Um, Matt Dunham. Uh, who raced the single last year, now in the double skull with his new partner, uh, Ben Van Dalen. Yeah, both men from the Waikato Club in uh, North Island. This crew coached as well by Calvin Ferguson. There we get our first real look at uh, Milos Jankowski, the 28-year-old Rio Olympian, with his partner, Jersey Kowalski. Beautiful uh, sculling in lead to take that gold medal in the first World Cup. They're ahead of their opposition. First three will go through to tomorrow's A final. And we've got another Swiss crew as well here that we must mention in lane six. Just pushing up into that third place, neck and neck with the New Zealanders. Yeah, that's uh, Andre Strunzer, just 21. And it's another young crew, Greg, Julian Muller, 22 years of age. Again, another product of the Dow Lucas Blanc Sculling Academy. And there is effort Matty Dunham. Well, he's got a fantastic finish. He showed it yesterday in the repechage. They rode, they rode yesterday in the time trials, and they had, this crew had to row repechage to qualify for this semi-final. They were so tough, those reps. And uh, he's going to have to do it all again today. But, you know, one thing is that they are extremely, extremely fit and brilliant in the last quarter. So we're coming up to, well, the 500 metre mark. So just a reminder, Italy still flying out in front. They've got over a length of the poles. Italy, just as they go away from you, there we are, closer to them. That's the Sculler from Stefano Oppo from Zabaudia, as is his uh, partner Pietro Ruta, the stroke man. Zabaudia, just south of Rome in the centre of Italy, where many teams will go on training camps. Over there on the far side, Greg, you pointed out the Danes. Yeah, we've got the Danish crew as well who've come right back into this too. I think the Swiss might have had just a little crab or a little incident that slowed them down in that third 500. And uh, they gave away quite a bit, um, which I think they're going to struggle to get back. But the Danish have been quietly working away at the top of the screen as well. And now putting pressure on the New Zealanders. Yeah, one of the guys, uh, the stroke man of the Danish double, Emil Esmussen, the older of two, 26 years of age, uh, was in the double that came eighth at the Worlds last year. And they've taken an under-23 Sculler in uh, Alex Modest to make up this new Danish crew who are challenging for a final place. There's the Italians, they will be the race winners. Second place looked to be the Poles and an incredible New Zealand charge. Matty Dunham again, look at him go, Greg. Not surprisingly, again, these New Zealanders, they can just sprint. They look like they're flat out when we saw them the first time, but no way, they've got plenty more to go. And they're now putting pressure on the Polish, and they're in turn putting pressure on the Italians. So Calvin Ferguson, who coaches this New Zealand lightweight double, I don't think they're quite going to do enough to get the Poles, but it's an incredible sprint away from the threat of the Danish double who crossed the line in fourth place there. Good skull from them, and the Swiss. 
and the Germans, uh, Wishart and Steinhubel, but it's a quality field, and right at the front of it, uh, the Italians, 6.23, they cross the line in. And uh, that was, well, significantly slower than the Norwegians. So conditions up and down, I think, Greg. Maybe the wind's just breezing up. It doesn't look to be as strong as it was then now, so maybe conditions different between those two heats. Well, we saw that as well yesterday in the time trials, that each heat was coming in in quite wildly different times as well. So, yeah, the breeze again today, it's up and down. See, New Zealanders here, they love to sprint, they love to keep the rate up. And, uh, but he's doing it every day. I mean, what does that take you out do that? of you? What does that take twice out Twice a day, you? twice yesterday, once today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they got the big one yet to come tomorrow. And making weight for all the races as well, of course, that they have to weigh in. So um, quite a challenge. And there's our drone that we're getting those shots for you. We'll have more of them tomorrow. Italian 623, just over half a length ahead of the poles. And then that brilliant sprint from Van Bo. 